So uh, while we uh, wait for that degreaser to do its thing up there in the engine bay, let's just get all this junk out of the interior and uh, we can kind of examine the rust situation in here and uh, start getting it cleaned up. So the main goal in this video is one, to degrease the engine bay. Two is to clean out this interior, get all of this junk off the ceiling and uh, all of like this carpet and sponge stuff that's just trapping moisture. And then three is um, the other day I pulled out these little plugs and uh, it's super common that this area rusts out. So uh, we're gonna, kind of pull back this sound deadening material um, just around this like I did right here and then uh, kind of treat any of this rust that we can wire brush it and uh, put rust inhibitor on it for right now um, but as you can see there's just like mold and stuff growing all around this thing because moisture has gotten into it so uh, I'd like to get all of this out you can see there's standing water in here especially back here so that's not good we got to get all of that out treat some of this rust and uh just get all this dirt out of here and uh, i think it'll look a lot better so let's uh get to work and uh hopefully we can get this done today It's gross. I think I might as well try to get this off. Looks like it's halfway off already. Yeah, that 
came off easy. Oh yeah, look at all that mold. That's so gross. All of this stuff off. Oh, shoot. Oh. Gross. I'm gonna get a mask on, I think. Keep on yanking.
This stuff's coming off super easy because the car sat in such a hot climate for so long that it's just breaking off. And I'm just gonna peel away kind of right along here because I've seen a lot of people pull all of the stuff away looking for rust and the only rust spots are usually right here like right around like the rubber holes for the drain because that's where all the water collects But you can see there it cracked right here so moisture got under this whole section so we should pull this back you can see some rust is happening because it's so easy to break away we might eventually do like the whole car but for right now we're just gonna do some of it. So that's pretty good. We'll build a wire brush this and then put some paint on that. Let's uh, move to the other side. And this is like the only rust on the whole car. So this thing is really rust free because it just kind of sat out in the desert for so long. And so yeah, this isn't even really rusted through, but just some surface rust. This other side looks to be about the same. The worst of it was on the driver's side over there. I saw like a couple small pinholes.
one way to uh, get this stuff off, if it's really cooked on there, uh, is using dry ice. And you like mix it with, I don't know what you mix it with, uh, maybe like vinegar and baking soda or something. And then you kind of make like a wet like slushy. And then uh, apply it everywhere and then it just like starts cracking this stuff. And then uh, you can get it off pretty easy. But that looks good. Now we uh, have a better idea of where the rest is at. And so let's just wait till all of this dries and then we'll come back with the wire wheel and get this all cleaned up, get some rust inhibitor on it and uh, we should be pretty good for a while. Okay, before we uh, spray the engine bay down, I'm just gonna stick some plastic bags over the carburetor and uh, what else? Probably over some of the electrical, like the coil distributor just to keep any water out and that's about it we can just blast this thing get all this dirt and grease off Some people just like spray the engine bay down, but it's good practice to try to cover up all of this stuff.
Well, there we go I think we got the rust somewhat stopped for now this is just a temporary solution but um, as you can see it looks a lot better and uh, I think it will slow down the rusting process so this thing is really rust free um, there's only a couple small holes that I could see one right there one right here that's a little bit bigger and then a couple little pinholes right in here but that's everything. Everything else is really solid. And um, I think eventually, after we get the car running and driving, if we can, we will pull up all of this other sound deadening because you can see it started a crack. So there's probably like water and it's gonna start rusting underneath there. But for now, the main points that get rusted are right by these drain plugs. So we got those opened up and uh, we got it coated, so I think that's gonna be good. Let's check out the other side quick. <clears throat> so this side wasn't as bad. Um, maybe a small pinhole going through right there, but I don't really see anything. A lot of it is just uh, surface rust that's caused pitting. So um, we wire brushed it shot some rust inhibitor on it this is all solid up here but as you can see we need to pull back that sound deadening and get behind there because i'm sure there's some rust back there nothing significant though this this car is really solid compared to other first gen celicas i've seen and uh, i'm super happy with this rust reformer um it lays down super nice dries quick and um yeah, I just used the heat gun to uh, speed up the process of drying and uh, making sure the metal is warm because it's so cold out. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it for this episode, I think. Um, just wanted to treat some rest, get some work done on this car. Um, we should be up and running pretty soon. I got a guy who's got a Weber 3236 with the adapter plate and everything it came off of his first gen celica so um, he's gonna give me that so i'm super excited about that um, that's probably gonna be a little bit closer to christmas and uh, we'll get that tossed on here and hopefully this thing will run we try to clean up the engine a little bit i can do better with that but looks a lot better than it did um I think I'll get in here with like a scotch bright and uh, some degreaser and really get it cleaned up. But just wanted to get some of the big stuff off. 
we have the front bumper i cleaned that up and it looks really nice now we just got to figure out how to get it mounted back on there um and then uh yeah once we get it running and stuff we will do more of the rest work possibly cut out some of the rusted out areas down on the floor and then uh i think i'm gonna get a dent puller and uh like one of those ones that shoots with a gun and welds studs in and then we'll be able to pull those dents out i was looking on this one i thought i would be able to punch it out from the inside but as you can see on that door over there there's not really any access to up there at the top um where this dent would be so i think we're gonna get a stud puller and uh, just pull all of these out and then this car should be looking pretty good i also got a guy who's got some seats so i'm gonna pick those up about christmas also and um, they're original seats i don't think they have the brackets though so we might have to figure out how to get some type of bracketry hooked up if not we might just put some modern seats in here make it comfortable but we're a long ways from doing that. Um, make sure you guys hit that uh, notification bell. Then uh, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Hit that subscribe button. And um, leave a comment what you guys think of the project. Just trying to knock the little things out at a time. And uh, hopefully get this thing back on the road pretty soon. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for following along. And... Uh, there should be another video coming up shortly. See ya.